when you're learning to speak a second language, identifying the sounds can often be difficult. For example, for learners of English, we know that the sounds a and a are sometimes hard to tell apart, so in words like bet and bat. And we're interested in why is that difficult and also how do people learn to do that. So some of our research is looking at how people understand their first language and some of it is how they learn a second language, how they adapt to a second language. And one of the things we're also interested there is why is it easier for some people than others and trying to understand a little bit about what makes people different from each other, some of those individual differences and how that relates to how they use language. So the main technique that we use is that we play people sounds and ask them what they heard, for example, what word did they hear, but what we do is we manipulate the acoustics so we can make changes so that something can be kind of halfway between a bet and a bat, or we can make other changes and then we can see how do those changes affect their responses. And that tells us the relationship between what they hear and what word they think they've heard. And if we can understand the differences between people, we might be able to figure out which people are a little bit more at risk at finding it difficult and maybe even give them some strategies that can help them learn better. So one of the great things about studying language and language learning in Montreal is that it's a very multilingual city. So we have lots of people from different backgrounds who speak different languages. And so we have lots of different kinds of learners that we can study.